वेलकम यर्स वेलकम टू आर सीरीज ऑफ थर्मोडाइनिक लेक्चर्स राइट वील विल कवर सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ये टिपिकल प्रॉब्लम्स राइट विच कवर दि आल दि फार्मुले वाट वी आर स्टडी टू लव एंड देन वील एंटर इन टू सैकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स विच इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फैशिनेटिंग ओके लॉस इन फिजिक्स विच गवर्नस दि वे इन विच यूनिवर्स थिंग्स हैपन इन द यूनिवर्स ओके इट्स अ वेरी इंट्रस्टिंग and a beautiful law in physics second law of thermodynamics before entering into that okay we will solve some typical problems here okay i have chosen some problems in such a way such that all the formula and all the concepts what we have studied in zero law first law in pv diagram etc and molar specific heats okay are covered right this is now one typical problem here in a cyclic process a b c a in a cyclic process a b c a on two moles of an ideal gas if 1200 joules of heat is withdrawn from the sample find the work done by the gas during the part b c okay so this is a temperature volume diagram okay a b c a is a cyclic process means we'll start from this point a and come back to that point a the moment we see a closed path in tv in tv diagram or in diagram okay internal energy is a point function so you start from one point and come back to the same point changes in right point functions right will be zero so in the first law of thermodynamics delta q equal to right du plus delta w okay we know that delta q is a path function delta w is a path function but internal energy is a point function so in a cyclic process change in internal energy will be zero so delta q equal to right delta w we can write since du is equal to zero now what is the question you see right at two moles of an ideal gas 1200 joules of heat is withdrawn from the sample heat withdrawn from the sample will be negative that is he has given delta q is equal to minus 1200 joules why i am taking this as minus because heat is extracted from the sample he is saying so minus 1200 joules and what is he asking find the work done by the gas during the part bc okay during the part bc what is asking means wbc is equal to how much now total work done see delta q equal to delta w that is minus 1200 joules is equal to delta w what is delta w work done in going from a to b from b to c and from c to a that is i'll write delta w as i'll split the delta w into three parts work done in going from a to b work done in going from b to c and work done in going from c to a okay that is w a b plus w b c plus w c okay now look at this w c a what is w c a right work done in coming from c to a what type of process is this c a process c a process is occurring at a constant volume in a tv diagram a vertical line right it represents what volume is remaining constant here volume is remaining constant is an isochoric process in an isochoric process work done p dv equal to 0 because dv equal to 0 so we can take this w c a as equal to 0 directly so what remains is delta w equal equal to w a b plus w b c the problem is he is asking us for w b c only okay means we have to find out w a b now look at what type of process is w a b right he has given it is a straight line okay he has given one more hint the line is passing right from the origin it is passing through the origin okay he has given the extrapolation like this it is like this okay means when a straight line is passing through the origin what we can say temperature and pressure are directly proportional to each other okay for any straight line like this i can write t is proportional to v on this line okay for an ideal gas okay for an ideal gas general formula is what pv equal to pv equal to nrt okay pv equal to nrt Okay, general formula for an ideal gas. T is proportional to V means T by V is constant. T by V is constant means T by V equal to we can write this as what P by N R. Okay, T by V. T is proportional to V. T by V equal to constant. T by V in this equal to right P by. Yeah, now take this V to this side. T by V will get. P by n r is equal to constant. P by n r is equal to constant means n is anyway constant. Two moles given. R is gas constant itself means implies what? Pressure is also constant. That is, this A B process is an isobaric process. 
AB is an isobaric process. In an isobaric process, what is the work done? W general formula is speed EV. General formula is speed EV, but nowhere, no volume change is given, no pressure is given. So, how to evaluate this speed EV? We have one more hint. Okay, PV equal to okay, PV equal to RT general formula we have. Okay, so PV equal to NRT we are writing. Okay, so I'll differentiate this equation. PDV plus VDP is equal to NRDT we can write. Okay, this process is an isobaric process. So change in pressure DP will be equal to zero. So this is anyway zero. So PDV work done. That's what we are expecting in an isobaric process must be equal to NRDT. Okay, now N is given how many moles, two moles of gas is given. Okay, gas constant is 8.31 joule per mole Kelvin into change in temperature. In going from A to B, in going from A to B, system's temperature is changing from 300 Kelvin to 500 Kelvin. Okay, this is, this 500 Kelvin should be written here. Okay, right, so what is DT equal to, DT equal to, dt equal to it is like this okay 200 kelvin okay 300 500 minus 300 is nothing but 200 kelvin here okay so that is 400 into 8.314 okay what is 400 into 8.314 400 into 8.31 is equal to 33.24 33 24 joules so this is our wab okay now look at that formula delta q equal to right delta w delta q equal to delta w equal to wab plus wbc okay he's asking us what is wbc now we have got wab also delta q himself has given minus 1200 equal to wab is how much wab is 3324 joules plus wbc therefore wbc is equal to bring that 3324 this side minus minus 3324 minus 1200 okay that is It's around 4500 4520 joules okay that is the work done during the process what you call it bc wbc equal to around 4500 joules okay right now let us go into another problem okay yeah Look at this problem. Two samples of A and B of the same gas have equal pressure and volume. Two samples A and B of same gas. A and B. Two samples A and B of same gas have same pressure volume. Means pressure is P, volume is V, temperature is T. Okay, say P1, V1, T1. Here also P1, V1, when P and V are same, PV equal to NRT. Okay, so temperature also should be same. Okay, here this one is also T1 only. Okay, now sample A is expanded isothermally. Okay, sample A is expanded isothermally and sample B adiabatically. Means this is isothermal expansion okay this one is adiabatic expansion adiabatic expansion to double their initial volume means this piston also got pushed up to double its initial volume this gas also got pushed up to double its initial volume okay only thing is this is isothermal process this is adiabatic process okay to double their initial volume if the work done by the gas is same in both cases show that gamma satisfies the relation gamma minus 1 log 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 to the power 1 minus gamma this is nothing but now look 
you want to show some relation what is the hint he has given work done both the process same one process is an isothermal expansion second process is an adiabatic expansion so we know the formula for works done in isothermal and adiabatic expansions and those works should be equated we will get the relation automatically okay <coughs> now here for that what is work done in isothermal expansion right work done in isothermal expansion if you recollect w equal to nrt log v2 by v1 final volume by initial volume what is final volume okay idea to double their initial volume so expansion is to double the initial volume that is final volume is double the initial volume to the base e that is log 2 to the base e so this is nothing but nrt log right 2 to the base e keep this one aside this is our isothermal process work done next second one is expanded adiabatically what is the formula for adiabatic work adiabatic work w2 i take w2 equal to n r by gamma minus 1 into right t1 minus t2 got initial temperature minus final temperature because this process is an isothermal process its temperature will not change its temperature remains as t1 only but this is an adiabatic expansion here pressure volume temperature all three parameters will change isn't it so initial temperature is t1 i know okay but final temperature after getting expanded to double the initial volume all right what will happen to temperature temperature will fall down okay to what temperature it falls down we have to calculate once i get t2 right how to get t2 now this is an adiabatic process in an adiabatic process we have the relation we know the initial volume is v1 means final volume is 2 v1 okay so what is the relation between temperature and volume okay temperature and volume are related as t1 v1 to the power gamma minus 1 equal to t2 v2 to the power gamma minus 1 okay that is t2 equal to t2 equal to right t1 into v1 by v2 whole to the power gamma minus 1 i'll bring that v2 into the denominator here so v1 by v2 to the power gamma minus 1 okay what is v2 v2 final volume is double the initial volume okay double the initial volume that is t2 equal to t1 into this is v1 by double the initial volume 2 v1 gets cancelled 1 by 2 to the power gamma minus 1 will be there that is t2 is nothing but t1 by 2 to the power gamma minus 1 now substitute this t2 value in this formula so w2 equal to what do we get now w2 equal to n r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus what is t2 t1 by 2 to the power gamma minus 1 okay now we can take this t t1 or t common okay that is n r t1 by gamma minus 1 into 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power gamma minus 1 this is the work done in the adiabatic process this is the work done in the isothermal process here also take this as t1 only okay because the initial temperature we are taking it as t1 okay now what is he saying both works are equal means equate this and this and simplify we'll get that relation or not we'll see now okay straightforward simple problem okay now what is w1 n r t1 right log 2 to the base e equal to n r t1 by gamma minus 1 into 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power gamma minus 1 okay so r and r this is n r t sorry okay this is n r t1 n r n r gets cancelled t1 t1 also goes off okay bring that gamma of minus 1 to this side gamma minus 1 into log 2 to the base e is equal to 1 minus take this 2 to the power gamma minus 1 to the numerator it will be minus half gamma plus 1 that is nothing but 2 to the power 1 minus gamma it will be so that is what is the relation is asking us now log 2 to the base e means natural log ln 2 only gamma minus 1 log 2 right is equal to 1 minus 2 to the power 1 minus gamma means if in this process if the work done works done are same right the gamma of the gas satisfies the relation given by this okay this is a good problem now we'll go to 
another problem okay yeah look at this okay now look at this question one liter of an ideal gas with gamma equal to 1.5 at 300 kelvin is suddenly compressed to half its initial volume find the ratio of final pressure to the initial pressure if the original pressure is 100 kpa find the work done in the process what is the change in internal energy what is the final temperature what is the work done <coughs> If the gas is now cooled to 300 at constant pressure, if the gas is now expanded isothermally to reach its original volume of 1 litre, what is the work done by the gas? Calculate the total work done in the cyclic process. My God. Okay. Solid time pass for all of us. There are 7 questions in one problem. Of course, in the exam, don't expect such a big one. Time taking a laborious process, a laborious problem, but one or two bits may be asked which one or two will be asked we don't know that's why we have to solve the entire problem okay right problem is a lengthy one but a straightforward problem okay in this problem i think we will cover almost all the formula till now what we have seen okay right so one liter of an ideal gas one liter of an he did not give you in moles he called one liter one liter means <coughs> 1 liter means 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube okay 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube is 1 liter means uh, 1000 liters equal to 1 cubic meter or 1 liter equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube keep that in mind okay 1 liter means 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube is how many moles again we have to calculate okay we have to see gamma equal to 1.5 gamma equal to 1.5 okay temperature is initial temperature t1 take it as t1 initial temperature 300 kelvin in solving any problem <coughs> the moment you are reading the problem okay note down the data given first note down the data given first okay and note down what is asking also okay so what all is asked what all data is given and what is asking suppose uh, lastly ask some x equal to how much okay the moment you see all the data here and the moment you see what is asking immediately the a student who is well prepared can immediately understand right from the given data which formula right should be used to get this one or suppose uh, this formula contains a b c only a and b only are given say c is not given but in this x formula a b c are there a and b are given in the data c is not there so immediately we can relate how to get c and finally get the x value like that okay so first it is better to write the way to practice is write the given data first and also write what is asking with question marks okay during practice in the examination you may not have time to do all these things but at home when you are practicing if you get used to this type of problem solving in the exam right you will get used and you will do it very fastly okay with a you will get clarity of thought okay and ideas also will come okay right now So, initial temperature is 300 Kelvin is suddenly compressed to half its initial volume, means compression. Okay, it is compression from some initial volume V to V by 2, half its initial volume. Okay, In sudden compression is said, sudden compression, that is one hint, remember sudden compressions and sudden expansions are always considered as adiabatic process okay adiabatic process means we have to do that in an evacuate sorry in an insulated vessel like a thermocol heat or wooden vessel something like that which does not allow heat to go into or heat to come out such process process done under adiabatic conditions is adiabatic process need not always be like that you take a very good conductor no doubt but 
if you suddenly compress the gas to one tenth its initial volume suddenly you compress the gas you are not giving sufficient time for the gas to lose its extra heat of compression to the surroundings okay for at least five minutes or ten minutes right the heat of compression will remain inside the gas only the process can be considered as adiabatic okay sudden expansions or sudden compressions always can be treated as adiabatic just like bursting of a car tire or a motorcycle tire suddenly gets bursted up okay gas inside at high pressure expand suddenly into atmospheric pressure it's an adiabatic expansion only okay whereas if that car tire gets punctured bike tire gets punctured okay through a small hole the air will be keeping on leaking out okay from a region of constant high pressure air will keep on leaking into a region of constant low pressure that's a different expansion it is known as joule kelvin expansion that we will see right in our second law of thermodynamics okay right so he said that suddenly compressed means what sudden compression is adiabatic compression so sudden compression means adiabatically it is compressed okay this is the hint we get right to find the ratio of final pressure to initial pressure okay now that is the first question final pressure to initial pressure when volume is compressed okay now how do we proceed by now some something should come to our mind okay right what is that temperature is given volume is given okay right what is final pressure to initial pressure okay so yes what is the formula which we'll be using p2 is final pressure by p1 is initial pressure okay right so that is pv to the power gamma equal to constant okay right that is p1 v1 to the power gamma equal to p2 v2 to the power gamma so he's asking for p2 and p1 the ratio p2 by p1 therefore p2 by p1 equal to right p2 by p1 equal to v1 by v2 to the power gamma okay now what is v1 initial volume suddenly compressed to final volume v by 2 that is v2 equal to v by 2 v1 by 2 v1 v1 gets cancelled it will be 2 to the power gamma therefore final pressure is 2 to the power gamma times the initial pressure okay so final pressure to initial pressure the ratio p2 by p1 is 2 to the power gamma or p2 by p1 will be 2 to the power gamma we can write this way okay this is the ratio of final pressure to initial pressure second one if the original pressure is 100 kpa means if the original pressure p1 is 100 kpa find the work done in the process work done in the process is nothing but n r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 okay means in order to find out the work done right we have to find out what you call the final temperature initial temperature is given okay final temperature we should find how to, when initial temperature and initial volume are given final volume is also known how to get final temperature one more adiabatic relation t v to the power gamma minus one equal to constant okay right so we'll use that now problem itself is taking the entire board okay right so the relation is i want to find out the final temperature t1 v1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to t2 v2 to the power gamma minus 1 i know initial volume is v final volume is v by 2 initial temperature is 300 kelvin we want to find final temperature t2 okay so t2 equal to t1 into right v1 by v2 to the power gamma minus 1 that is t1 into what is v1 by v2 v1 is v v2 is v by 2 so it's nothing but 2 to the power gamma minus 1 what is gamma value given gamma value is 1.5 so 1.5 minus 1 it is 0.5 that is root 2 that is t1 into root 2 what is initial temperature t1 given as 300 kelvin so the final temperature t2 equal to 300 root 2 kelvin this is what we got okay now i can directly use the formula right w in work done right find the original okay uh, if the original pressure is 100 kpa find the work done in the process okay n r by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 now i have t1 in my hand t2 in my hand gamma is known r is a constant only but only thing is n is not known all that he has given is what one liter okay one liter of gas at that temperature at that pressure how many moles it is equal to we don't know means we have to calculate now calculate n value 
ओके ना हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एन वैल्यू यूजिंग द स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड आइडियल गैस इक्वेशन ओनली ओके राइट ना वॉट इज दैट पी वी इक्वल टू एन आर टी नाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वाई हेज गिवन इनिशियल प्रेशर एस राइट इनिशियल प्रेशर पी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड किलो पैस कल हेज गिवन वाई मीन्स बिकॉज इट विल बी यूजफुल हियर ओके राइट सो एन इक्वल टू राइट पी इन टू पी बाय पी वी बाय आर टी सो प्रेशर इज हंड्रेड किलो पैसकल हंड्रेड इंटू टेन टू दि पवर फाइव इंटू वॉल्यूम इज वन लीटर वन लीटर मीन टेन टू दि पवर माइनस थ्री बै आर इज ओके टेक इट एस आर ओनली ओके टेमपरेचर टी इज थ्री हंड्रेड कैलवि थ्री हंड्रेड कैलवि दिस इज टेन इंटू टेन टू किलो पैसकल किलो मीन टेन टू दि पवर थ्री सारी ओके दिस इज टेन टू दि पवर फाइव 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is 10 to the power 2. That is 100. 100 by 300 is 1 by 3. So n equal to 1 by 3r. Okay. So in order to find n value, to help us in finding n value, he has given mentioned the initial pressure as 100 kilo pascal. Now we have n value. We have t1 value, t2 value, gamma value. What is the work done in the process? Okay. That is 1 by 3r into r. By gamma minus one, one point five minus one is point five into T one minus T two. T one is three hundred Kelvin. Okay, right minus T two is three hundred root two. Okay, initial temperature is more, final temperature is less because it is final temperature is more, initial temperature is less because this is an adiabatic compression. Work is done on the gas. Three hundred minus three hundred root two will be negative one. Work done is negative means what? Work is done on the gas. Okay, that's how we should understand. So R and R gets cancelled one by three by point five three hundred minus three hundred root two. Again, if you go further, it will be like this. You can take three hundred also common. So. R and R gets cancelled. 300 by 3. That is 100 by 0.5. Okay, right into 1 minus root. This is work done. Okay, 100 by 0.5 is how much? 100 by 0.5 is 200. Okay, 200 into 1 minus root 2. What is root 2? 1.414. Okay, so 1 minus 1 0.414, 0.414, minus 0.414, this is nothing but minus 0 0.414 into 200. Okay, so answer will be 200 into 0 0.414, 200 into 0 0.414 equal to some 82.8 joules. Okay, roughly 83 I am putting here, 83 joules, 82 point something we are getting, it is 83 joules, okay. This is work done, negative work done means what? Work is done on the gas, okay. Now, let us go for the next question here. What is that next question? One problem, right? We are making use of almost all the formula we have studied in thermodynamics till now, okay. Right, so if the original pressure is 100 kPa, find the work done in the process. That second part is over. Okay, five more are there. What is the change in internal energy? What is the change in internal energy? Now, change in internal energy means again, du is asking. First law of thermodynamics says what? Delta Q equal to du plus delta W. Okay, right. So we'll use that here. Now the next is. What is change in internal energy? Okay, change in internal energy formula is du equal to right n C V D T. Okay, n is number of moles. Just now we have derived 1 by 3 R into C V is C V general formula is R by gamma minus 1. So R by gamma minus 1 into changing temperature. Initially the gas is 300 Kelvin. After the sudden adiabatic compression, the temperature has increased to 300 root 2. So change in temperature, 300 root 2 minus 300. Okay, that is R and R gets cancelled. This is 1 by 3 into gamma minus 1 into dt is 300 root 2 minus 300. That is nothing but 300 you take common. 
by 3 into gamma minus 1 into root 2 minus 1. Okay, that is 100 by gamma minus 1, 100 by gamma is 1.5, 1.5 minus 1, it is nothing but 0.5 into root 2 minus 1, 1.414 minus 1, it is 0.414. Okay, 100 by 0.5, 200, 200 into, right, 0 0.414, whatever is answer, that will be, and joules is your answer. Okay, next one. What is the final temperature? In this process, we have cal calculated the final temperature T2 equal to 300 root 2. So, that is 300 into 1.414 T2 equal to final temperature is 300 root 2 Kelvin. Okay. What is the work done if the gas is now cooled to 300 Kelvin at constant pressure is asking. Okay. Means what? When he has compress the gas adiabatically its temperature has increased from 300 to 300 root 2 now what is he doing at constant pressure he is allowing the gas to cool down at constant pressure he is allowing the gas to cool down means it is an isobaric process in an isobaric process work done pdv work done uh, pdv equal to okay n r dt we are writing okay that is pv equal to rt Okay, for n moles it is nRT. So PDV, okay, plus VDP is equal to nRDT. In an isobaric process, DP change in pressure is zero. So PDV nothing but work done is nRDT. Okay, I'm writing this here directly. Okay, PDV equal to nRDT. N is one by three, three R into R into change in temperature is what change in time now cooled to 300 kelvin that is right from 300 root 2 to 300 300 root 2 minus 300 okay r and r gets cancelled right 300 i can take uh, common 300 by 3 it is 100 100 into root 2 minus 1 0.414 okay so this is the amount of work done if the gas is now cooled to 300 kelvin at constant pressure it means at this situation the temperature of the gas is now 300 now the next step is what if the gas is now expanded isothermally to reach its original volume of one liter what is the work done it means it is an isothermal process at 300 kelvin the gas is now expanded isothermally it means it is isothermal expansion to final volume of one liter okay at constant temperature of 300 kelvin what is the work done okay what is the work done is asking now in isothermal process we know the expression for work done is nrt log v2 by v1 log v2 by v1 okay so what do we get here expanded isothermally okay if the gas is now expanded isothermal to reach its original volume okay now what is its initial at what volume this entire thing is happening cool to 300 constant pressure means volume will keep on changing now isn't it what is work done the gas is now cooled to 300 kelvin at constant pressure okay it is cooling at constant pressure means automatically its volume also has to change what is the vol volume after this process we have to calculate okay right what is the volume after this process means for an ideal gas pv equal to some nrt it is a constant pressure process okay constant pressure process cooled to 300 kelvin so when temperature is constant pressure is constant okay we can write this as what v equal to nr by p into t that is v by t n is a constant r is a constant pressure is a constant so v by t equal to constant in that process that is v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 sorry v2 by t2 v2 by t2 it is okay so we know initial temperature 300 final temperature is 300 root 2 initial volume is v okay v by 2 sorry why gas was in originally compressed to half its initial volume isn't it after that this all these processes are taking place so v equal to v by 2 we have to calculate what is v2 so what is v2 
ओके सो v2 equal to t2 by t1 into v1 is nothing but original volume ओके हाफ हाफ लीटर दैट इज ओके राइट सो v2 equal to ओके t2 is 300 root 2 by initial temperature 300 nothing but root 2 into this is nothing but Mm, initially originally we started with one liter it is compressed to half liter so v2 is nothing but half liter that is right root 2 by 2 nothing but 1 by root 2 okay 1 by root 2 liters okay so now we know the final volume okay so here again let us go back to the question Now, is now isothermal expansion to reach its original volume from 1 by root 2 liters it has reached to 1 liter okay so what is isothermal process work done w equal to okay w equal to n r t log v2 by v1 n is 1 by 3 r r into t at what temperature this is happening okay 300 kelvin temperature 300 into log right to the base e final volume is 1 by root 2 liters sorry final volume is to 1 liter now isn't it so it is 1 liter by initial volume 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 okay this r and r gets cancelled 100 into log to the base e right what do we get here log root 2 log root 2 is nothing but uh, 2 to the power half half log 2 to the base e okay this is the amount of work done next calculate the last question is calculate the total work done in the cycle we have seen three works in the process this is one work okay this is another work initially right here also one work done simply add all the three works we will get the calculate the total work done in the process okay so though the problem is a lengthy problem okay we cannot expect all the questions to come in one exam okay but right the way once we know how to solve the problems it becomes easy right thank you we'll continue in the next video what is known as the most interesting second law of thermodynamics